Unit 23, Library Resources. Lesson 1, Arrangement of a Library. I decided I'd try to make doctrine versions of the Glencoe Writer's Choice. So, let's get this started. Today's episode, Arrangement of a Library. Now, libraries today offer numerous services. You can go and research a term for, like, a paper. Or go read a book for pleasure. Or you can even borrow a video or even... Even a CD. And then, in the year 1876, a librarian named Melville Dewey divided the world of knowledge into ten broad categories, which we still use today under the Dewey Decimal System, or DDS. Books are organized according to this following numerical structure. 0 to 99 are the general works, which include encyclopedias, bibliographies, and, yeah, those types of books. Even autobiographies are included. From 100 to 199, it's basically philosophy books with ethics, with subcategories such as ethics and psychology. For, for the numbers between 200 to 299, it's about religion, which includes theology, mythology, legends, all those shebangs. My favorite part, to be honest. To 300 to 299, it's all about social studies, like law, politics, political science, education, all those things, I, individuals, and, and societies. For 400 to 499, numbers represent language, which includes dictionaries and foreign language. And for 500 to 599, the sciences, which include chemistry, astronomy, and mathematics. You get the deal. The numbers between 600 to 699 is technology, which includes like medicine, engineering, agriculture, and other subjects that are included to it. For 700 to 799, the arts, well, the arts include paintings, music, theater, sports. Yeah, that's exactly what happens. From 800 to 899, those numbers represent the literature, like poems, trees, plays, essays, Virgil's Iliad, Homer's Odyssey, and Iliad. And the final numbers from 900 to 999, it's about history and geography, which include the ancient history, biography, and, of course, travel. But what about the Library of Congress system? Well, the Library of Congress system, classification system, is used mostly by larger librarians. I mean libraries. The LC classification system divides all of the knowledge into 21 general categories. I would have said 26, but for some reason... The Library of Congress classification system doesn't use all of the letters of the alphabet. Weird. And these, in, like the Dewey Decimal System, the LC has little subcategories, which are identified by the additional letters and numbers. For example, if you want to find a book about art, it will be labeled with N. If you wanted to find a book about paintings, then you would have to put in ND to talk about fine arts and painting. And to make, to find more books, well, with the subcategories, you need to add the numbers. Like Spain, for example, then you would get the L Library of Congress classification number ND804. And you know the drill. And that's the basics of the arrangement of a library. Lesson number one, done. Quick quiz. Who invented the Dewey Decimal System? Write your answers down in the comments below. And then I'll, ans I'll give you the answer in the next video. Bye, everyone. Dun, 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 dun.